Hey, reading friends. So this week, yesterday, you read the story, The Leaning Tower on Raz Kids. And so today we're gonna do a little bit of comprehension work with that. But before we do that, I want to read through The Leaning Tower again with you. So I want you to pull back up that book if you haven't done that. So if you need to pause me to do that, go ahead. But I want you to pull up The Leaning Tower on Raz Kids and we're gonna read through that together. Okay, so I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can see my book, okay? And let me get back to the cover so you can see like what it should look like on the front. So here is the book. All right, our focus question. So we are, that means like what we're gonna learn while we read. And we're gonna be looking for and learning about why does the Tower of Pisa lean? Okay, so there's a reason why and we're gonna learn why in our reading, okay? I want you to read with me, okay? Long ago, workers built a bell tower. It was called the Tower of Pisa. Turn the page. It took many years for workers to build it. Right away, the tower started to lean. Workers built it on soft ground. The tower leaned. Workers built it too tall. The tower leaned. Workers built it too skinny. The tower leaned. Workers stopped it from leaning more. They dug under it. Workers stopped it from leaning more. They put ropes around it. Workers stopped it from leaning more. They put weights on the ropes. The tower still leans, but it is safe for people. People call it the Leaning Tower of Pisa. The end. Okay, and it says at the end, if you want to build a tower using materials of your choice, you can before it falls, all right? Okay, so after reading that, I'm gonna go back to the beginning, and then we are going to do some comprehension work with it. Now, I'm gonna show you this. I don't need you to draw it to look just like this, okay? You don't have to draw leaning towers, but I do want you to make a cause and effect chart. I don't know why my thing is not moving. Okay, so you need to have a row of cause and a row of effect. If you just wanna make a, like a column, like I can do it on the whiteboard here. If you just want to do this, if you just want to do, like you don't have to draw, what, what was I writing? Cause, I got a little confused. If you just wanna do something like this, this is okay, all right? It doesn't have to be fancy. You just need to have four boxes that you could write in, okay? You can just do something like this on your paper, okay? All right, so if you wanna do something like that, you can. All right, so on our chart, we're gonna do the first one together. All right, so cause and effect. The effect is what happens, let me flip this around while I tell you this. So the effect is what happens, and then the cause is why it happens. So if the effect is I um, was late for school, the cause could be that I forgot to set my alarm clock. Or if the effect is I got a speeding ticket from a policeman, the cause could be that I was driving too fast down the road. So the effect is what happens, and the cause is why it happens. So that's what we're gonna practice today using our story 
the Leaning Tower. So you can look back in your book to help you. I'm gonna look back in the book to help me, okay? All right, so here is the first one. Our first one says the tower leaned. So we need to look back in our book and find out why, what caused the tower to lean. The effect was the lean, what caused it? Okay, as I look forward, it says long ago, workers built a bell tower. It was called the Tower of Pisa. Okay, that doesn't tell me why it leans. All right, it took many years for workers to build it. Right away, the tower started to lean. Okay, I'm learning that it leans, but it doesn't tell me why yet. Okay, let's look at the next page. Workers built it on soft ground. The tower leaned. Okay, there we have an example of cause and effect. Here is the cause. Workers built it on soft ground. The effect is the tower leaned. So I need to go to my chart. I've already got the tower leaned. You're just copying this side onto your paper. The cause for the tower leaning, what I would need to write right there if I could write, is I, was, I would write the ground was soft, okay? And that caused the tower to lean. The ground was soft. So you're gonna look through and you're gonna copy this side on your paper and you're gonna have to find these answers in your book. What caused the tower to lean? What was another thing that caused the tower to lean? And then what caused the tower to stop leaning? And then again, what caused the tower to stop leaning? Okay, so that is your reading work today to practice with is cause and effect, figuring out what caused the tower to lean, two, two things, and what caused the tower to stop leaning, two things, okay? When you finish that, I want you to take a picture of it and submit me your chart that you made about the leaning tower. Okay, and then tomorrow we are going to read another story to wrap up this week. Okay, good work boys and girls.